Hello everybody and welcome back to another one of my festive vlogs. I don't know which number this is but we're getting there. It is the build up to Christmas. We are literally five sleeps away and it's 20th of December, it's quarter to seven. I'm going to quickly open my event calendars and then I'm going to hoover my floor and then I'm going to go in the shower, wash my hair and then I'm going to wrap some presents. So you're going to wrap with me, I'm going to do some time lapses, I'm going to show you some gift ideas for people last minute, you know, like things that I bought. So yeah, but anyway, day number 20 of the Revolution one, let's keep it in a box. Day number 20, it's a pretty little thing, but yeah, I need to hoover my floor before I wrap my presents because you know but i hope you've all been doing well i hope you've been loving my festive content so far let me know what your favorite's been i've got a home bargain tool to edit to try and go up for tomorrow because i found my camera if you watched my last festive vlog before this one you would have known that i was struggled to find my camera i thought i lost it so we're back i can't get it out what is it oh it is a it looks like a blusher in the shade flirt so i'll put this in a little bundle in the giveaway box but very nice very nice and then number 20 for the pretty little thing i got some presents from work today which is really exciting oh what is it what is it what is it oh it is the brushworks wonder complexion sponge um that looks really good basically looks like the real techniques one. Oh, i'm gonna get so much use out of this like look it's just so just getting so empty that box is quite heavy this box is quite light this is a big box but it's very light and then number 24 is very heavy so we'll have to see i know what that is i think it's pretty self-obvious um but i've got some like tape and bubble wrap and things i've got grandma's card there um i've got to put another card up i got this obviously from the christmas fair it's a little personalized reindeer so i've actually put that out um because i'm actually going to keep my decorations up till the probably the fourth or fifth because obviously you can have them up to the sixth so however long i can keep these up i'm definitely going to keep them up Food on my floor very happy about it um and I did, in my last festive vlog, I think I mentioned the fact that I had to organise my corner of mess that was piled with presents. Um, but I may be FaceTiming Dawn. Is there something on my lens? Yeah. There you go. Um, I may be a FaceTiming Dawn. If you don't know who Dawn is, then go check out, I think it was my third festive vlog. She's in the thumbnail. Um, it's when I went to the Christmas fair and we had a work do. At the beginning of December, which was like a million years ago now, um, but she's wrapping and I'm gonna be wrapping all week so I'll have plenty of time to FaceTime her whilst I'm wrapping so I feel like I get so much more done when I'm FaceTiming someone and she's watching Beth's newest festive upload and I'm going to jump in the shower I'm gonna use my festive berries which can I just say smells amazing um and then I'm gonna use as I said in my previous festive vlog function of beauty just wasn't what i was expecting so i'm gonna leave that for now and i'm just gonna stick with my trusty john frieda which i got from home bargain you know, it's a little corner the mat did for me actually I've done that wrong and get my matches i've hit behind a cute little frame that i got from bethany who runs bg lashes and does some of the best personalized crafts can i just add i do also have one that was personalized to our friendship group too which i also did for some of my friends but yeah when me and matt got together this I got in a box from Bethany. Little turtle, can't remember where that's from. That's from Cornwall. Maybe that's from Cornwall too. And then I've got two Primark fake cactus flower things. I think I got these from Cornwall. Oh, kind of figurines. Turtle, of course. Turtles, penguins, and gonks are my thing. And then my grandma, or one member of her, I think it was my grandma, got me this. It's like a memorial um, thing for my granddad. It's got a fake tea light in because I'm just too scared to light an actual one in it. I'm going to light my mulled wine candle. I've still got my other one that I bought on sale from the garden centre. This candle smells just insane. It smells insane just taking the lid off, to be honest. Lovely. Put that in there. My tablet has just come undone. Of course it has, like, why wouldn't it? But look at the candle. I'm just going to put you guys here so you can admire it. So I'm going to do my turban back up because my hair's not ready to come out of it just yet. 
So it is the next day. I fell asleep so early last night, got nothing done. Need to edit tonight and wrap loads of presents. Here is Matt. I'm about to head into Tesco's to get this one some Christmas, last minute Christmas sweets. Malika's Christmas parcel's turned up and I can't open it apparently because some of the stuff still isn't like, there's a couple of bits aren't wrapped. So I should have really taken that to grandma, shouldn't I? But the, Matt's mum picked that up for the sorting office. So I'm, not, I'm quite confused how that's happened. But tonight, I'm not, we're not going to go see the pretty lights tonight because I've actually got to take a card round to that local estate to a family member. So we're going to do it tomorrow. Oh, I'm going to give you guys a haul of the bits I picked up from Tesco's when I get home because obviously a lot of them include Matt's like Christmas last minute bits and I you would have seen in the clip that I filmed you're not allowed to watch you don't watch my videos anyway I have a present and he's going to love me and I cannot wait to get his reaction on Christmas day so I'm going to watch some greys sneak peek to one of Matt's presents um, but I've got these I'm going to have a quick snack and then I'm going to have dinner and then I'm going to start organizing and open my advent calendar and then i am going to wrap some presents okay so this camera battery is about to die but we're going to show you guys i'm going to show you guys what i got from tesco so i've got matt the official 22 2022 liverpool calendar um this is just a little something because i know he's going to appreciate it. it's more thoughtful it was the last one as well so clearly they were popular because you know the guy went to me oh thank you. quite a few of these been flying out um, my favourite football player isn't on here. Not because he supports Liverpool, but he's just my favourite football player and person ever. Alex Ox Chamberlain. Don't judge, okay? Let's just not judge. Um, so I picked this up for him. Um, so yeah, check out your local Tesco. See if there's any football clubs that your partner or friend supports the last minute presents. For my boss, I got her this really cute little gift bag. It's very sweet. Um, and hopefully her things fit in there. If not, I'm going to have to give it to someone else. But that's only 80p. Um, for myself, big bag of Maltesers, because, you know, at Christmas, if you can, treat yourself. Um, I got these cards because I just can't seem to stop buying Christmas cards. And I don't have that many more people to do Christmas cards for. But these are really cute. They're um, charity cards, and I got them cheaper because of Matt's Club card, which is amazing. So they're like cocktails. And I've got one of my boss's family members to do a card for, and I thought these were very nice. Um... So they also have recipes to like festive drinks inside, which I think is quite cool. Um, so also for Christmas, I got these because we have very good friends over in Germany and they, um, I don't think they've done it this year, but they've sent hampers in previous years of amazing Christmas German treats. And obviously these aren't going to be the same, but these are German inspired and I cannot pronounce them, I'm not even going to try. Um, but they are really, I'm going to test, test my grandma and see what she thinks. Um, and they're only one pound so i thought why not okay the rest of it is for matt i think and two things for my mum so yeah um we've got some more sour sweets so we've got some sour patch kids some fizzy fish wait i'll do this bunch myself some more sour patch kids but they're fruit mixed flavors oh they not sour oh yeah sour then sweet good okay um and then i got him some flumps because we just reminisce when we were on Cornwall flumps and it just reminds me of Cornwall so it's more of a thoughtful sweet rather than anything else um I got him some more of these I did get him some from Home Bargains but I saw these and I couldn't resist um because you know he absolutely loved these and they're his favourite chocolate and you can actually open them this way and then just pop out and they're the Maltesers teaser kind of yeah but this this I actually saw did I get the other one from Tesco? I did it from Home Bargains. Lynn's also got one. Um, but yeah, so this one's for my mum because she loves her lip care. And once again, she could use this to store things in. Um, and then also for my mum, just a little something. Quality Street. Um, oh, is it just the... Oh. I don't actually know if she likes this one. Well... I've just realised I bought her some. It's not mixed quality street, it's just the purple one. Okay, so that didn't go quite to plan. I don't know if she likes the purple one. I'm hoping she likes the purple one. We'll see her reaction to Christmas. Um, and my advent calendars. No, that's 23. So, I'm going to wrap in a minute. I'm in a wrapping mood. I want to wrap presents. So, we're going to do that. This is the revolution. Oh, I think it's another makeup brush. nice one was it like a concealer brush maybe it doesn't say on it but it's like a i 
can't imagine that being for eyeshadow, surely, because it's quite big. I'm thinking, I don't know what that could be for. Um, but it's a nice brush, very soft. I'll probably give it. What have we got in the bar? It is a Bondi Sands self tanning foam in dark. Now that is really cool because obviously this, I'm not sure how much money it is normally, but to get a full size product, is this full size? It looks like full size. Salmon quality coconut scent. So I'm actually, I don't, I'm not sure of my bestie tans, but you know, I got her a product in a bundle from Bethany. And also I think this could be quite good for her maybe. I don't know whether she's going to, but oh actually no i'm gonna throw this in a giveaway because you know what someone may want a tanning product dawn on facetime um and these are the presents that i'm gonna start by wrapping so gift ideas for your bestie or someone that loves pamper stuff this could be it your father-in-law that loves golf and just your boss who loves dairy milk basically <laughs> um so i got Matt's mum, two lots of pillow spray because she absolutely loves stuff. I got Matt's dad this t shot golf mug, and it also comes with a golf club at all, which is from BM. No, yeah, it's BM. Um, for Alex, I got some Vimto candy floss because she loves the stuff. I'm not going to wrap that though, so that's in my non wrap pile. Um, some fake tan, which I thought would be a cute little extra. This from Bethany, a little personalised coffee or tea mug with loads of sweet stuff inside. Then I got some lavender bath salts. These were from Home Bargains. This was from Boots because we've got an inside thing. Our name's on Snapchat called Penguin after a night out clubbing. We huddled together for warmth because it was so freaking cold. So I got her that and then we both got the same matching little decorations from Tesco's. Um, and then we've got like a little personalised pocket mirror. It's not going to focus very well, but it's fine. There you go. Um, pillow spray. So loads of stuff in the pound shop. They had great stuff in there. Land of Nod is a really popular range at Christmas time. So baths, more bath salts. Pillow spray. We've got some lashes because she's more of a lash, natural lash kind of girl. These are from Home Bargains. Um, we've got bath soap. We've got two like shower jellies, I think. No, bath jelly, sorry. And they're from the Disney range from Boots. And they were three for two. So I got her this bath fizzer as well because we think she's more of a snow white. But we got her that one as well because it's week too and some bath powder so in here i'm going to try and fit these bits and pieces but obviously wrapped maybe a bit because thing is i don't really want to wrap i'm not going to wrap everything i don't know whether i'm even going to wrap the contents of the box yet because you know it's just a bit stressful and it's really stressing me out um so yeah, um, but I'm thinking about maybe wrapping the box. <laughs> I, just, I don't know what to do really, okay? Just leave me be. Um, and then if you've got a boss that loves Cadbury's, massive bar of dairy milk and milk tray. For Dawn's dad, Turkish Delight. This is also for Alex. Um, so yeah, that's what we're starting with. And this battery camera, and this battery camera, camera battery is about to die. lapses um don't you worry but i'm just going to show you what i've done so far so this is my boss's present and her son's cards in there uh dawn's dad's presents there um matt's dad's present is here and i took the golf club tool and put it in the mug this is matt's mum's present alex's box so decided not wrapping these and because she's not opening it till christmas day little hamper of bits and pieces in there for her um which i've managed to squeeze that all in honestly this box is amazing it's so cute um so those are that done and can i just say i love it um i'm now cutting this up because i have wrapped and it's like look how cute the paper is and the paper paper from tesco is so much better quality um so i'm gonna be wrapping all this up i think this much will wrap all of it Alex's mug and then I'm going to do her one of these cards because obviously they have the sort of how to make these cocktails in the cards which is really cool these tags are so cute honestly Dawn's dad's got one um, and I've also been using these 
which are the six sheets of sticker tags. Some of them are dressed, some of them are just cute. Um, I'm just writing Alex, and I'm gonna maybe stick a few couple of cute penguin ones on there because obviously our inside joke thing. But yeah, so I'm using the gingerbread wrapping paper to start off with, and then I'm gonna wrap our friends' presents as well after I've wrapped all of Alex's. Okay, so I've now wrapped Matt's parents' presents. A wrap well, Alex's box hasn't got wrapped presents in, but it's got tissue paper covering it, okay? No judgments, please. Um, and then here's the rest of her presents. I've reused a really cute bag. How nice is this? From one of the parents at work. And her Christmas cards in there. And then I'm using these ones, so for Matt's one of Matt's closest mates, there he is on FaceTime. As in Matt, not his best mate. <laughs> You're right there, chilling. Yeah. Um, so I thought I'd give them this card. It's really cute. It's from Tesco's. Tesco's has some really great Christmas cards this year. Um, grandma's probably going to get this Christmas. No, did I get one? No, I didn't. From Tesco's. So pro Grandma's probably going to get this one, and then Lynn's going to get the um, golden retriever one, kind of pup, which is this one. Um, and I'm going to show you their presents. So I think I did quite a good job. Let's crack the step ladder out because okay. I'm. Hang on. Oh, there, there we go. One of the dogs is having the turkey plush turkey and the the wings of this turkey is gonna get ripped off within two seconds i'm gonna just see it one of them's having the turtle uh is there anything else oh yes i've done your sister and a partner and I put this in my Christmas gift stash because I knew I wasn't going to use it. So this is going to be for Matt's sister and this kitten calendar. I checked with Matt's mum that Matt's sister would actually like this. Otherwise I'd have to re-gift it. But yeah, so that's that. They're my Christmas presents that you'll have to see in what I got for Christmas. Um, they're from work. Oh God, hello. There you go. Um, so yeah, look at all this. Oh, Christmas is great, but it's also really stressful. Okay, so for one of Matt's best mates, we've got a Shelby Company gift set, which I got from Superdrug. Great, great thing. Um, we've got a great angle of Matt here. Don't we love to see? <laughs> anyway, so yeah. I've got that for Matt's mate. This is for his missus. She's lovely. Uh bath bomb set and then for their little boy they've got a baby on the way but i'm gonna wait to spoil her when she's born um this is for their little boy but i think matt's best mate's gonna enjoy this a bit more than the little boy i think it's gonna be mainly for him but this is what it includes it was like fiver from the pound shop um so i think it's just such a great gift it's more for summertime however i saw that i've got a seal because it is open i think it's got everything in it i might should check that um, and then for the puppies, I've got this Christmas cracker. Um, and then he's also the same dog, because we've got two now, has got this. The, these are just going to come off. But how cute. This was from Home Bargains or B&M. I'm not sure which one. I think Home Bargains. And then this is from the garden centre. This is for the puppy. So the puppy's got a cute little cracker, tennis ball and some treats. And also this turtle how cute so i'm gonna wrap these next if you can hear matt playing fifa in the background um but this is the cricket set itself i wanted to make sure i had all the pieces because where it was open two balls a bat which looks like this and this is it so i'm gonna put it all back in now now i know it all fits together um and seal it and wrap it just got to wrap the doggies one last present and Matt's sister's present we're going to crack out the second roll of four meter wrapping paper um I'm going to put all those gifts in the living room so I know where they are but we're going to open the snack surprise box um so yeah okay so the box this is December's box because they were a bit behind schedule Oh, we've got hungry. <gasps> Babe. Yeah. I think they've got bacon rashers in here. 
Yum. Okay, so I'll leave that as a surprise. Well, kind of a surprise. Oh, these look really good. Oh my goodness, there are so many snacks in. Oh, I think I might like most of this, you know. I think I might like most of this, you know. I'm going to get a drink. Oh, oh, it's nice and cold. Right, can I just say, this box probably looks like, potentially, just from first impressions, potentially one of my favourites. Oh, so, you'll have to wait for that one to the next clip. But, well, not the next clip, literally, but, you know, I've got to find someone that this could go into. Well, actually, you know what? This can have Dawn Dad's presents gift. Presents gifts. So I've used my Mrs. Hinch, the little book of lists, to tick off the Christmas presents I've wrapped. I need to export the haul onto my iPad and edit that tonight so it's ready to go up tomorrow. I've got to address Beth and Tristan's card. Um, that's my godparents' card that's going to them on fr th Friday, Christmas Eve. I've then got Becca's card, Georgia's card. These two from Malika and Alex. I've actually done them, other cards. So they're going in the recycling. Um, so I'm going to get changed into my comfy bed clothes. So it's now Wednesday. And I'm going to put you guys there. Because I'm going to quickly grab myself some cereal. So I don't believe I've got any. Um, so yeah. That cherry stops. Um, I'm really excited to put the cherries. Um, I am in talks with them with another collaboration, so that will be coming in the new year, which I'm really, really excited about, because, as you all know, it sells loads of stuff that I love, so I'll be saying tomorrow's breakfast, love some cocoa cake. Um, so yeah, so keep your eyes open for that in the new year. That's that awesome. maybe I should put you down here, actually, so you can actually see what I'm doing. Can up, so just excuse my, um, puffy face, but the presents down there. Some of those are mine, but we've got presents there, presents there. I've got Lucy Ledgeway on. Absolutely love her content. If it's going to focus, probably not, but it's her trying to fall from McDonald's Christmas menu. Um, so the chocolate in my teddy bear one. I've got a little teddy bear for day 21, which was yesterday. Day 22 is a Santa. There's only two days left, and then I can put these in the recycling. And then and my grandma's one, day 21 back but yeah i'm gonna use the collaboration to get some storage stuff from cherries okay so that's mum is on way let's quickly open the advent calendars just so i've done them you know okay, number 22 what's oh, a lip gloss so it's like a very pinky color it is in Covert. Kind of reminds me of James Bond Covert Operation. This camera's like me this morning. Just does not want to <laughs> wake up. Um, and then day number 22, the pretty little thing. Oh, it's a peaches and cream lip gloss. Now, I want to try this for the mere fact it's peaches or cream, so I want to try their brushes and I want to try some of their other makeup. I get it off, obviously, pretty little thing, hence why, you know, so I'm going to put all the rubbish in my little bag from yesterday. Keep my room tidy because I'm happy with what bomb it looks. It looks nice now. So, we are delivering presents, or about to. Matt, can I show them the front of your. <laughs> Got the... Oh no, it's not focusing! Come on, focus. It is the 23rd of December. It is the last day of this last official festive vlog. Um, it is nearly half past seven. I'm about to get picked up. And I'm just gonna, oh. So yeah, I'm about to get picked up. As you can see, my Christmas presents are still up there because I felt quite poorly last night. I didn't feel very good. I think I was overtired. So I wrapped myself up in bed and I went to sleep for the whole night. So tonight I'm going to get the rest of my wrapping done. Any last minute wrapping can be done tomorrow, Christmas Eve, um, in the morning or after I've had my lunch with my grandma. Um, but yeah, so today's the last day at work. I'm really looking forward to seeing everyone. And then coming home, we're going to run some errands. We're going to go see the festive lights, me and Matt. 
drop some more presents off at people's houses and then I'm gonna come home, wrap presents and just have a chill one really. Um, listen to festive music, watch festive Christmas films. I cannot believe it's got to this point already. Like, what the hell? Um, so yeah, but I've edited my other festive vlog. Hopefully I can get that up in time for this afternoon. Fingers crossed. Here's hoping. <laughs>